Hey guys, it's me Nasmus here and uh, today's tap is going to be uh, on the editions of Windows 7. Uh, uh, those of you who are tortured by uh, Windows Vista know already know that Windows Vista com came with tons of editions, enough to make any customer confused, including myself. Uh, Microsoft did this to uh, because they believe that it'll help people uh, ma ma make Windows affordable for people so that by making them get only what they need but the problem was we didn't care about the additions we just wanted to go to the store get uh, get win purchase windows come back and install on a pc and get going with our life we didn't want to we didn't have the time to just stop and compare each and every edition and then buy the one we need in fact even if we did we still kind of got confused do i really want that feature should I pay more? Should I pay less? Will I miss out on anything? It didn't help. I mean, so, and, uh, tragic, I would, I would say this, uh, thing as tragic, because, uh, many customers just bought Windows Ultimate. Said, hey, I, I get everything I need. Maybe I'll, I'll get, it's Ultimate Experience, so definitely I'll not miss out on anything. And because they didn't have time to read every edition, read about every, every edition, if they could afford Ultimate, they would just buy it. But what well, the tragic thing is, the ultimate was not ultimate. Many customers complained that the ultimate edition of Windows was actually sort of a ripoff. Not this that wasn't ultimate compared to the ultimate price. Definitely not. Um, because of the, all those complaints, so Windows Seven did strip down its editions, even though all those um, all the editions still exist, especially for. Uh, developing developing countries and emerging OEMs and manufacturing companies but for customers on the first rule country uh, like US Canada or England and uh, big stores the only th we only have to focus on three we only be focusing on three editions of Windows and their home premium uh, professional and ultimate even it's not as good as just having one version of Windows, which I really think is a good idea. Just have one, everyone gets what they need, no confusion. But it, hey, it's a heck of a lot better than uh, what used to be on Vista. Say for a home user, you get the home thing. If you're a professional user, if you take your PC to work, get professional. But should you really get ultimate? And this brings us to our uh, topic of discussion for today. Is Windows 7 Ultimate really worth it? Uh, we'll just explore it. Uh, I'll just quickly go over the features that each each of these three main edition include and or does not include. Uh, the first feature is make things you do every day easier with improved desktop navigation. And the improved desktop navigation is uh, the new taskbar, which is awesome, I think. Arrow snap, arrow peek, arrow shake. It's great. I mean, if there's only one reason I'd switch from Vista to 7 or XP to 7, it would be the new taskbar and definitely the new Im Im increased performance, of course. Uh, the next feature is this, of course, it says it's faster, and you could find programs more easily. And I have to give it give it to them. The search function is great. I mean, let me just show you rather than blab blabber with confusing description. Uh, if we just say if you want to find a find one of your documents, just tap a keyword, and it finds it instantly find finds all the documents that has the keyword that you typed in, and it shows a preview of the paragraph that the keyword is located in. So you could quickly find what you need, even if you don't remember the name of the file. I think it's a really good feature. I love it, and like the first one first feature all editions include this so it's a good thing make a okay you got internet explorer 8 not the biggest highlight because windows vista has it for free download and a lot of his use firefox safari or google chrome like i'm using so ie8 eh, don't care uh watch watch pause rewind and record tv on your pc uh that's in other words it's the windows media center and once again all of the editions include it um so, oh, yeah, this is a new, better version of Meter Center. You get the win, new t 
touch experience, multi-touch experience. If you don't know about that, it's great, and all editions include it. Uh, easily create a home network and connect PCs and printers with the home group. It's a really good feature. Uh, it connects to your computers in home in your house really well. See if you have a song in one of the com one of your computer, but not on the other. You can still listen to it from the other computer just from your taskbar. It's great. It's a really good feature that I like, and all editions included. Now it's where it gets exciting. It gets exciting. Uh, run many Windows XP programs in Windows XP mode. Say if I have a program that doesn't at all run on Windows 7. Period. Doesn't. It just won't start. You can still run it. Because in win uh, Windows 7 Professional or Ultimate, Windows XP Desktop is integrated with Windows 7 through virtual technology. So in other words, it's seamless. I'll show it to you. Here's Windows 7 Desktop. There's the desktop background. You have two windows. This is win well, Word 2007, and this is Word 2003. This is running in Windows XP. This this window where my cursor is at now is in win Windows XP environment, completely 100% XP. You can just see by the looks of it. Uh, see the arrow glass, but here see the XP theme, the Luna theme. So, and even anything that works on XP it's just XP so you don't have to worry about compatibility issues you could if you love the operating system you could even have the whole OS integrated to your desktop the XP start button it's great so if you're really into that stuff professional is the thing for you you won't get that in home but so if you really rely on that on a program that run, run only on, runs only on XP this is the one for you uh, connect to company networks. For a home user, you need this, so it's a professional stuff. And ultimate, of course. Recover your data easily. It's a good feature. You don't want to get stuff lo lost. Still available, available in both professional and ultimate. The last two features I have to talk about is uh, one of them is help your PC protect, keep your PC protected from hackers using BitLocker. What BitLocker is uh, actually an inscription tool uh, that inscripts your entire hard drive. So any suspicious activities go going on from hackers, I guess, Windows will uh, recognize it and prevent uh, and just block your hard drive. And you can only access with the password that you created. So really, security tool that is only important for big enterprises. We home users don't need it. And it's only available on the ultimate. And the last feature is switch between 35 languages. Interesting. But my question to you is, are you going to do use this feature at all? Most of you. Are you? I mean, most of us will buy Windows in one language and keep it at that language. Unless one of our family, our family members have different languages and they need to switch different between uses but for most of us we just use our computer in one language so this last feature is useless for most of the users in fact just look at the ultimate comparing to the other versions the ultimate has on only two features extra here's my question are you going to pay more just for two features one of them only only good for bi big businesses and the other is only useful to few people people that are really rely on switching between languages two features not always useful that's the ultimate my opinion it's not worth it definitely not worth the price even though it's not a big big leap from the professional price but still it's not worth buying if you want a lot of cool stuff from Windows 7, professional is the way to go. Even if one, even home is good experience, you'll love using Windows 7, even in home premium, because it has a lot of great features. XP mode, excellent feature. If you're into that, professional is the thing for you. But ultimate, no. I don't recommend it. It's But tell you what, the final decision is up to you. But me, no. Windows 7 Ultimate, rip off.
So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see ya guys. Gals.